Emma believed she had the perfect life, a loving partner, a beautiful baby, and a future full of promise. But one fateful day, her partner went for a walk and left their baby unattended in a stroller. As Emma delves into the mystery of his sudden absence, she uncovers secrets that will change her life forever. This is a story of love, betrayal, and the relentless pursuit of truth. Emma woke up to the soft coos of her six-month-old daughter, Lily. The morning sun filtered through the curtains, casting a warm glow over the nursery. She smiled as she picked up Lily from her crib, feeling the soft weight of her tiny body against her chest. Good morning, my little sunshine, Emma whispered, kissing Lily's forehead. She walked into the kitchen, where her partner, Jack, was making breakfast. He turned and smiled, his eyes crinkling at the corners. Morning, Emma. How's our little princess? He asked, pouring a cup of coffee for her. She's perfect, as always, Emma replied, taking the cup. They shared a tender moment, watching Lily babble and wave her tiny hands in the air. It seemed like any other day, but it would soon take a turn that Emma could never have anticipated. After breakfast, Jack mentioned that he wanted to take Lily for a walk in the park. The weather was beautiful, and it had been a while since they had enjoyed a day outside. Emma agreed, thinking it would be a great way for them to bond. I'll be back in an hour or so, Jack said, kissing Emma on the cheek. I'll take good care of our little girl. Sounds good. Enjoy the walk, Emma replied, smiling as she watched them leave. Hours passed and Emma began to worry. Jack should have been back by now. She called his phone, but there was no answer. She tried to keep calm, telling herself that he had probably just taken a longer route. As the minutes turned into hours, Emma's worry turned into panic. She called Jack's phone repeatedly, but there was still no answer. Desperate for answers, she decided to go to the park herself. When Emma arrived at the park, she saw the stroller sitting alone by the path. Her heart raced as she ran towards it, praying that Lily was still inside. To her relief, Lily was there, sleeping peacefully. But there was no sign of Jack. Emma's mind spun with fear and confusion. How could Jack have left Lily unattended? She called the police, her voice trembling as she explained the situation. The police arrived quickly and began their investigation. They took Emma's statement and started searching the park and surrounding areas. Emma could barely think straight, her mind racing with fear and confusion. How could Jack have disappeared without a trace? Hours turned into a day, and there was still no sign of Jack. Emma's friends and family came to support her, but there were no immediate leads. She felt helpless, her world collapsing around her. One evening, as Emma was putting Lily to bed, her phone buzzed with a text message from an unknown number. Emma, meet me at the old train station tomorrow at noon. I have information about Jack. Come alone. Emma's heart raced. Could this be a trap? Or was it a genuine lead? She knew she had to take the risk. The next day, she arranged for a friend to watch Lily and headed to the old train station, a place that had long been abandoned and forgotten by most. As Emma arrived at the train station, she saw a figure standing near the platform. It was a woman, her face partially obscured by a hood. Emma approached cautiously. Are you Emma? The woman asked. Yes. Who are you? My name is Sarah. I worked with Jack on a project that, well, let's just say it involved some very dangerous people. He didn't tell you because he wanted to protect you and Lily. Emma felt a mix of fear and relief. What kind of project? Why did he leave? Sarah glanced around nervously. I can't say much here. Just know that Jack uncovered something you shouldn't have. He's in hiding, trying to keep you both safe. But you need to be careful. There are people who would do anything to find him. Emma's mind spun with questions as she drove home from the meeting. What had Jack gotten involved in? And who were these dangerous people Sarah had mentioned? When she arrived home, she found a package on her doorstep. There was no return address, and inside was a small, unmarked USB drive. Emma's hands shook as she plugged it into her laptop. The drive contained a single video file. The video showed Jack, looking tired and disheveled. Emma, if you're watching this, it means things have gotten worse. I can't explain everything, but I need you to trust me. I'm doing this to protect you and Lily. Please, don't try to find me. Stay safe, and know that I love you both more than anything. Tears streamed down Emma's face as the video ended. She felt a surge of determination. She couldn't just sit and wait. She needed to take action. 
Emma decided to dig deeper into Jack's work. She reached out to his colleagues, trying to piece together what he had been working on. She learned that Jack had been involved in a high-profile research project for a major corporation. The project had been top secret, and Jack had expressed concerns about the ethical implications of the work. As she delved further, Emma discovered that the project had involved developing advanced surveillance technology. Jack had found evidence that the technology was being misused to spy on private citizens and gather sensitive information without their consent. He had confided in Sarah, his closest colleague, but they had both been threatened to keep quiet. Emma realized the gravity of the situation. Jack had been trying to expose a major scandal, and his disappearance was an attempt to protect their family from the powerful individuals behind it. Determined to uncover the truth, Emma contacted a journalist known for exposing corporate corruption. She shared what she had learned, providing the journalist with a USB drive and all the information she had gathered. The journalist, intrigued by the story, agreed to investigate further. As the journalist's investigation progressed, the truth began to unravel. The corporation behind the project was indeed involved in illegal surveillance, and their actions had far-reaching implications. The story gained national attention, and the public outcry forced authorities to take action. Amidst the chaos, Emma received another message from Sarah. This time, it was a location and a time, another secret meeting. Emma arrived at the secluded park where she was to meet Sarah. As she approached, she saw not only Sarah but also Jack. Her heart leaped with both joy and fear. Jack, she cried, rushing into his arms. Jack held her tightly. Emma, I'm so sorry for everything. I had no choice. Sarah stepped forward. We had to stay hidden until the truth came out. Now that it's public, we're safer, but we still need to be cautious. Jack explained that he had been gathering evidence while on the run, working with allies to ensure the truth would be revealed. He had left Lily in the stroller as a last resort, knowing it was a safe and public place. With the corporation exposed and its leaders facing legal consequences, Jack was able to return home. Life slowly began to return to normal, though the experience had left its mark on them all. Emma and Jack attended therapy to heal from the trauma of their separation and the events that had unfolded. They grew closer, their bonds strengthened by the trials they had endured. Emma continued to advocate for privacy rights, inspired by Jack's bravery. She spoke at conferences and wrote articles, using her experience to raise awareness about the importance of ethical practices in technology. Years later, as Emma watched Lily play in the garden, she reflected on the journey that had brought them to this point. The mystery of Jack's disappearance had led to a deeper understanding of courage, love, and resilience. Their family had been through the unimaginable, but they had emerged stronger and more united. Emma knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, armed with the strength and love that had carried them through the darkest of times. The park, once a place of fear and uncertainty, became a symbol of their resilience and the unexpected places where life's greatest challenges can lead to new beginnings. Asterisk asterisk my partner went for a walk and left our baby in the stroller unattended asterisk asterisk is a story of mystery, love, and the relentless pursuit of truth, showing that even in the darkest times, hope and resilience can lead to a brighter future. With the ordeal behind them, Emma and Jack focused on rebuilding their lives. The media storm that followed the exposure of the corporation's illegal activities eventually died down, and they were left with a quiet, private life once more. Lily, now a bright and curious child, often asked about the time her father had to go away. Jack always responded with gentle honesty, explaining that sometimes, standing up for what is right requires great sacrifice and bravery. Emma took up painting as a hobby, finding solace in capturing the beauty of everyday moments with her family. She turned some of her work into a small business, enjoying the creative outlet and the joy it brought others. One summer afternoon, as the family prepared for a picnic at the very park where Emma had once met Sarah, Jack received a call. It was from Sarah, who had continued her work in exposing corporate corruption and had become a renowned figure in the field. Jack, I just wanted to let you know that the foundation we talked about is up and running. It's called Voices for Justice, and it's helping people around the world expose corruption and fight for justice, Sarah said, her voice filled with pride. Jack felt a surge of pride and joy. That's wonderful news, Sarah. I'm so glad we were able to turn something so painful into something that can help others. 
As they spread out the picnic blanket and settled down to enjoy the day, Emma looked around at her family and felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude. They had been through so much, but they had come out stronger on the other side. Here's to new beginnings, Emma said, raising a glass of lemonade. To new beginnings, Jack and Lily echoed, clinking their glasses together. And so, their story continues, a story of hope, resilience, and the unwavering belief in doing what is right. A story that reminds us all that even in the face of great adversity, there is always the possibility for a brighter future. The end. This story, asterisk asterisk, my partner went for a walk and left our baby in the stroller unattended asterisk asterisk, is a testament to the strength of family bonds, the courage to stand up for what is right, and the power of resilience in the face of life's greatest challenges. It's a reminder that, no matter how dark the times may seem, there is always hope for a new beginning. <laughs>